the campus-wide smoking ban went into effect at the start of the spring semester. In this week's Yacht Report, I begin a three-week series on how USD is dealing with the new ban. With the new semester in full swing, students are already finding themselves gasping for breath in a few challenging classes. That's common. They're college students. However, the difference between this semester and previous ones at USD? Cleaner air. The smoking ban is now in full effect at USD. Effective as of January 9th, the ban puts an end to all smoking on campus, different from the previous rule of no smoking indoors or within 25 feet of campus buildings. I spoke with Student Government Association President Alyssa Van Meteren to learn how the idea of the ban came about. The smoking ban idea has sort of, sort of been a work in progress since the early 1990s when the Student Government Association and at that time the University Senate were pushing the idea. About in 2003, that's when the idea was sort of brought up again in sort of a, a more aggressive way. And then specifically in 2011 when Colin and Nick were in office, they initiated the student poll that gathered student feedback on what they thought was the right course of action to take with the ban. And based on the results of that poll, they wrote up a resolution that was given to the executive committee. And then just this last October, the executive committee approved and passed that resolution. Van Meteren also noted that the smoking ban says a lot about USD. The implementation of this policy really shows USD moving onward, not only within the university and Vermilion communities, but along with the rest of the nation. For the Yacht Report, I'm Kelly Stewart. Thanks, Kelly.